In this video, we're going to explore how you can assign admin roles using the Admin Console on Google Workspace for Education. This is important because the admin role you have assigned controls what features and access you have on the Admin Console. You can manage admin role assignment by going to the main menu, selecting Account, and then select Admin Roles. This page will then show the list of admin roles available to assign. First of all, let's take a look at the super admin role. The super admin role in Google Workspace for Education is a powerful role that grants a user complete control over all aspects of the domain. This role is typically assigned to someone who needs full control over the domain. Therefore, it's really important to make sure that you only assign this role to people who you can trust with management of your institution's Google Workspace account. To assign the admin role, we can first click into Admins. From here, we can see who already has the role. Then we can select Assign Users. and then start typing in part of a user's email address. Select the user, and then select Assign Role. Now with this role assigned, when that user now logs on to the Admin Console, they will have super admin privileges to the domain. Now let's go back and have a look at some of the other roles available. For groups admin roles, let users manage and create groups. For user management admin, let users create and manage and delete users. For help desk admin, just let a user assign new passwords and look at user details within the admin console. Services admin allows an admin user to manage Google services, such as how Drive or Gmail is configured. And storage admin lets uh, admin user assign storage quotas and look at storage usage on the domain. As you hover over each of these roles, you can see you've got some additional options here. You can assign an admin to that role. You can view the privileges and view the existing admins for that role. Let's select view privileges now. Selecting this shows the current privileges assigned to that role. As we can see, the help desk role just has access to read organizational units and users so that they can navigate the directory on the admin console and they can only update passwords. So they can't make any other changes to user details. Whereas if we look at the user management role and check its privileges, you can see here it's got full rights to read, create and update settings for users on the domain. Let's now assign someone the Help Desk Admin role by selecting Assign Admin. Let's press Assign Users again and start typing in an e email address for a user and let's select this user and this time, before I select Assign Role, let's click on the Organizational Unit button. This allows me to restrict the scope of our admin role. So for instance, if we wanted this user just to have admin privileges to reset student passwords, we can select our students OU and assign the role just to that one OU. So this user can't change passwords for staff, for instance, but can for students. Okay, so now that's set, let's select Assign Role. As you can see, we have two users with this role now. One user has the rights to change passwords across the entire domain. And this user can only change passwords for students on the domain. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.